just sum up what it means to you to be part of a team that is the first Arab team to go to a Women's World Cup? You know, sometimes I still need to pinch myself of the journey that I've been on. Um, the last year has been incredible, obviously international-wise. Um, as you said, we're the first Arab team to qualify for the Women's World Cup. Um, it's been an incredible time for the country, um, for Arab women, for Arab women in sport. And, you know, I think it's massive. And sometimes I really need to take a step back and actually look at what we've achieved because, you know, I, sometimes I can't put it into words so it's been a real journey and one that I'm, I'm going to be proud of for the rest of my life. I wanted to play on the international stage um, and for everyone that knows me they know how much of a special place Morocco is for me um, and you know it was just a choice that I thought I haven't got long left in my football career. The pride that my Moroccan family have, even my mum's family who is Scottish, the pride that they have um, for me playing for Morocco, I, I can't replicate that for anything else. And yeah, anyone that knows me knows how special it is for me to put on a Moroccan shirt. I think I've always had a close connection with my dad's side of the family. I've been going to Morocco as long as I can remember. Um, but it feels extra special when you're putting on that country shirt, you know, you learn so much about the culture, being in and around the other girls who are living in Morocco. Um, you learn about the heritage even more, the religion. There's so many aspects about Morocco that, you know, I thought maybe I knew before I played for Morocco, but I'm just learning more and more. Every time I go on a camp, it's amazing for me. And, you know, it's um, something that I am so glad that I did just because the impact that we're having for women in Morocco is incredible. When you're mixed race, I'm guessing you get this, I get this a lot. People don't know where I'm from, they try and guess. Yeah. I'm guessing you get that as well. All the time, yeah, <laughs> all the time. What difference does it make when you are putting on a football jersey, a shirt, and like you're wearing your identity on you physically? Yeah, it's just immense pride, you know. I've always had a close connection with Morocco, um, but for strangers, they don't know I'm Moroccan. You know, they're always guessing other nationalities, other countries. So when I'm actually putting on that Morocco kit, I'm wearing it with such immense pride. You know, I'm so proud to be Moroccan. I'm so proud to represent that country. And it's just such a nice feeling that I don't have to run around explaining to people where I'm from, them trying to guess other countries that I'm from. So it's just a real feeling of pride. How hard was it to choose between Morocco and Scotland? <laughs> You know what, my mum and my aunties always ask me, why didn't you choose Scotland? But for me, um, it was kind of a no-brainer, you know. As I said before, I have such a close connection with Morocco. It's my dad's side of the family. It's probably been the best choice that I've made. No offence to Scotland, no offence <laughs> to Scottish people. I love them too. Obviously, I love uh, my mum's side of the family. But, yeah, it was really special for me for, to play for Morocco. There are a lot of people that we've spoken to that kind of they've chosen a country that they see as like the underdog of the two mixes they are. Was there a hint of that for you? Of course there was an element of I want to help grow that side of the game um, in Morocco. I want to help develop women's football in Morocco. You know, there was an aspect of unknown in the sense of playing in an AFCON, um, playing other teams in Africa, an experience that I would never experience anywhere else. So there was an element of that also in the decision. You know, when I think about Morocco and I think about everything revolving it, it's just an immense feeling of pride. Um, it's probably a word that I repeat so much when I'm talking about Morocco. Um, but, you know, I think even for Africa as a continent, it's amazing to have. I know there's other African players playing in the WSL, but it's just amazing to represent that side of the world. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of talent in Morocco and, you know, they'll eventually be picked up and spotted. But, you know, I'm so proud to be flying the flag for Morocco, for Africa as a continent and for other countries that don't maybe necessarily get the recognition sometimes that they deserve.